Hey guys, it's Olivia and I'm back with another video. So as you can tell, I am in my car and you probably figured I'd be in my car because you read the title. Sorry for the uneven sun, nothing I can really do about that. But today I am doing an Uber Eats video. So I am going to go downtown and I'm going to do some Uber Eats. It is 5.14 p.m. right now on Friday, June 12th. So yeah, we're just gonna see what a Friday evening is like. I wanted to get downtown by five o'clock, which clearly didn't happen because when 4.30 rolled around, I realized that my camera wasn't charged. So yeah, um, we're gonna make our way downtown and yeah, we're just gonna do some orders and see how much money we can make today. Okay, so I am downtown. It is currently 5.56. So right now I'm at College and Young. Usually I'm at around College and Spadina, so that's the direction I'm gonna be heading, unless of course I get a ping. So basically, Typically, I would just be driving and then start the app, but you can't do that anymore because now every time you go online, you have to take a picture of yourself to show that you're wearing a mask. So I have my mask right here, so I'm just gonna put that on real quick. And then if we go over to the app, I'm gonna click go, but then it's not gonna go online because I have to confirm COVID-19 precautions. So let me just do that real quick. So now I've done that, and then if I click go, it will let me go online. And so we're just gonna drive around a little bit and see if and when we get something. So I got an order while driving, so I couldn't show myself accepting it, but it was for a place called Daddio's Pasta and Salads. I got the food right here on my seat. This food is hot, this food is cold, so that's why I didn't put them both in the bag. And yeah, so now I'm gonna go to the person's house, and they live 18, 16 minutes away, so yeah. So I just dropped off the first order and I'm just going to put the total on the screen because the number can change depending on whether or not the person gives me a tip. So yeah, I'll put how much I got for the delivery and how much I got for the tip if I got a tip and then I'll show the total. So that is what I will do for each order because the tip, if someone tips, always comes in an hour later. So then at the end of the day when I'm editing this, I'll be able to see how many tips I got and stuff and then I'll just put it on the screen to make it easier. So trip one, done. So I just picked up my second order. I got it basically right as I drove off from dropping off the first order. And here I have it right there. And yeah, so we're gonna see how far this person is away. It, I picked it up from Frankie's Italian. So, yep. And this person lives three minutes away.
So I just dropped off the second order. It was a condo and in the app it says to deliver to their door but then when I got to the lobby the person was already waiting for me so I just handed it to them, came back to my car, it was really quick and so now we're waiting for trip number three. By the way, this is how much I made for trip number two. picked up order number three now let's find out how far they are this person is 11 minutes away So I just dropped off order number three. I realized that I forgot to say the name of the restaurant in case you guys are interested. It was a place called Dumpling House. And so yeah, I just dropped that off and now we're waiting for order number four. And this is how much I earned for order number three. Just picked up my fourth order. It is from a place called Tacos El Asador. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but <laughs> that's the best I got. And the person lives 10 minutes away. just dropped off order number four and this is how much I earned and I'll see you when I pick up order number five. Just picked up order number five, and it is from a place called Western Chinese Food, at least that's what it says in the app. On the actual store it says, King Chef Chinese Restaurant, so one of those two names. And now, let's drive to the person's place.
just dropped off order number five this is how much i earned from it i don't remember if i said it in the previous clip but this person lived 12 minutes away from the restaurant so the amount of money that i earned reflects how far away the person lived so i just thought i'd put that out there so yeah it was 12 minutes away just dropped it off and now i'm just waiting for order number six picked up order number six and the person lives four minutes away it's literally less than a kilometer but the road that they live on is closed according to the uber app it has the red diamond and then the whole road is crossed out so i don't know exactly how i'm supposed to deliver to this person but i will figure that out so yeah i picked it from a place called suvlaki hut so yeah So I just dropped off order number six and this is how much I earned and I already got order number seven. I'm sitting in my car looking at it and it says that it is 10 minutes away and typically I wouldn't do an order where the restaurant is 10 minutes away from me because Uber doesn't pay you for the drive to the restaurant. They only pay you for the drive between the restaurant and the person's house. But the reason why I'm choosing to do this order is because I looked at what the person had ordered like after you accept the order you can see like what the person ordered and the person ordered a lot of food so one people who order a lot of food typically tip and two when they tip it ends up being a lot because let's say they ordered $100 worth of food and then they tip you 15% that's $15 so I find that it's worth it to go for the big orders because one they typically always tip and two when they do tip they tip big so yeah I'm going to this order that is 10 minutes away also you know how I said that the road was closed the road wasn't actually closed there was just something that said for locals only so technically I'm not a local but a local asked me to drop off their food so I wasn't gonna not do that so yeah the road wasn't actually blocked so I was able to come up to where the person lived See what I mean? Look at all this food. So this whole bag is full. And so this is hot stuff. This is cold stuff. And so that's why they're separate. But yeah, it is a lot of food. And also the person lives nine minutes away. So they do live a good distance away from the restaurant. So I will get a decent amount of money for like the regular fare. And then there's a good chance that he could tip me a lot. So yeah, I think that it was a good gamble.
So I just dropped off order number seven, and it was from a restaurant called La Veranda Osteria, in case you're curious. And so right now, like, I'm thinking I'm getting a big tip. One, it was a lot of food. Two, their house is big. Three, they have really nice cars in the driveway. Three really nice cars in the driveway. <laughs> so yeah, I think the tip's gonna be fine. So we'll see, I'll put it on the screen. And yeah, that was order number seven. I might just do a couple more. Um, currently on my phone, like before tips and everything, I'm at 77.65. I'm trying to get to 100, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, so that's where I am right now. And I might just do a few more trips and yeah. Order number eight, just picked up the food. It is a McDonald's order. This is going to be my last order of the night. And I didn't check yet, but the person is five minutes away. I figured they wouldn't be far because it's McDonald's and everyone lives within five minutes of a McDonald's. So yeah, I'm gonna drop this off and then probably go home after. So it is currently 9.46, I just went offline. I'm currently at $94.88. Not all the tips have come in yet. I'm still waiting for that big tip from that one big order, assuming that they tip. So yeah, uh, I didn't quite get to $100 as of yet, but I'm still waiting for a couple of tips and this person for the McDonald's order could very well tip me as well. So yeah, um, even though I'm not quite at the 100, I am done for the day because I do think I'm gonna hit the 100 after tips and even if not, $94 is still pretty good for the time that I put in. So yeah, I'm gonna go home. By the way, I'm in Etobicoke right now. I've been in Etobicoke for three or four orders. I left downtown Toronto a while ago because I had one order that they ordered the food downtown and then they lived like right on the border of downtown in Etobicoke and then the next restaurant was in Etobicoke and then that person lived in Etobicoke and then I just kept getting further and further away. So I'm around like Islington right now and if you're like from the Toronto area like the GTA then you know where Islington is in comparison to where downtown is, like in comparison to where I started at College in Spadina. I'll like put something on the screen showing how many kilometers away that is. So yeah, um, I'm quite far from where I started, but I made good money, so I'm not complaining. And now I'm gonna go home. So I am home now. It is currently 1.52 a.m. I've been home for a while. I've been home since about 10.30. I was just editing the video, so now I'm filming the outro. So my ending balance is $115.06. So the big order did end up tipping me big, which you guys already knew because I put it on the screen earlier in the video, but I didn't find out until after I got home. So yes, the person tipped me $20.18, which I think is my highest tip to date. I've gotten a couple of $20 tips. I think this might be my first one that's over 20. I don't know, but it is a very big tip. So yeah, it was really smart of me to go after that order even though it was kind of far away. But yeah, so that's the end of today. $115.06 in three hours and 48 minutes. 
Um, if we go to the breakdown, my net fare was $45.50. My tips were $50.97. So my tips outweighed what Uber actually paid me. And then my promotions because of the area I was in was $18.59. And so if we calculate that, that's about $30.28 an hour. So yeah, that's like double minimum wage, so I am content with that. Also, something I did in this video was I had some dash cam footage. So between each drive, I uploaded me driving to the different places. Do you guys like that? Should I continue to do that? Let me know. I just wanted to do something different. I felt like it would be kind of boring if I was like, I picked up the food, I dropped off the food. I picked up the food, I dropped off the food. Like, if there's nothing in between, that's all the video would be. And I don't know if that's what you guys want. Just pick it up, drop it off. Or maybe you want to see the scenery. Maybe you want to see where I'm driving around in downtown Toronto. I don't know, but every person I've seen, they just pick it up and drop it off. And I wanted to do something different. So I added the dash cam footage showing me driving from place to place. Let me know what you guys think about that. Comment down below yay or nay on the dash cam footage but yeah so that's all for this week's video i hope you enjoyed it if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up if you think your friends will enjoy it be sure to share it with them all my social media links will be down below in case you want to follow me on there be sure to subscribe to my channel because i make new videos every monday and i'll see you next monday with a new video